Hey YouTubers, welcome to Reading Comments with Mike. Okay, so I did a video yesterday that's got barely any views and it's, it's, its importance is very, very important. Canada needs more Chinese to cure its economic woes. No, I didn't make that title up. It was actually in an article that was written. And I go on, read the article. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you could read the article. And then maybe you could come jump on here and comment uh, what is right, what is wrong. So I just went on to comment and say, Chinese-dominated investor migration schemes were terminated or paused amid heavy criticism, but supporters are lobbying for their resurrection. So they're talking about reopening and letting more rich migrants come in and buy out the rest of the country, basically, and buy out basically the real estate. So in um, politically cheap, docile society, uh, it's good to prop to get property because your property is somewhat protected, I guess, or it's in good hands, so to say, and that's why they're all left empty. So here's the deal. So I got a lot of comments on here, so I want you guys to come on this video here. So, uh, uh, Grayson brought up uh, a point here. Your state, your statement is too biased. Just be honest. Without foreign foreign investment in Vancouver, it's just a li uh, living without prosperity. So, could Canada prosper without Chinese investing? That's the question he's asking there. Well, that's the that's what he's telling me there. But that's the question I ask you guys: Could China, uh, could Canada survive without China? That's a really good question to ask. And there's all kinds here. Um, yeah, it's like a drug addiction. Uh, Canada is hooked on a Chinese immigration, and it's been going on since the beginning of this. Um, administration the liberal party getting into power the last time and they got reelected of course so there's lots going on here but i want to read this one from benny parson he's been commenting on my channel for a long time and he's been calling me out and debunking me and everything so he says here three hours ago first of all if it weren't not for the chinese investment in canada the taxpayers the taxes they pay all those enjoying the welfare state would be eating grass in public parks. 40% of Canadians receive some some form of welfare. The mine that the Chinese own is only made profitable by Chinese hard work. If they hired Canadians, they would work just long enough to collect UI and then end up on welfare never to return to the workforce. In China, most investors think Canada is a good place to invest up to last year, of course. The, the Chinese kids that attend our inexpensive universities will play the Canadian welfare game. Facts are known. 40% of Canadians live off a form of welfare, and the Chinese know this. The Chinese laugh at the sucker taxpayer of Canada. I laugh also, and I hope they rip the system off more than they do now. The inheritance born in Canada, uh, kids will have their inheritance ground down to a mere nothing because the only way is to inflate the dollar and eliminate the debt out of existence. This is why 90% of my money can flash to an offshore account. My Chinese broker thinks Canada is a joke. I have made lots of money with this broker. He only thinks, that, uh, he only thinks about money and not how it is made. He told me, I had better get over being a softie. He said, your Canadian ethics will make you lose money in the new world of economics. Mike, God bless China. What would, what would we do without them? Be like Americans? Haha, -ha, no thanks. So let me know what you guys think on Ben's, Ben's here. Sorry, I'm reading it through the, the, the computer screen. So I'm reading it through the camera and the screen. So it's kind of blurry. It focuses in and out. But there it is there. You could read it for yourself. I'll leave a link in the in the description below. And I'll leave a link in the in the comments first. Co uh, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. And I'll leave. There's a little square at the end of this window. Let me know what you guys think. People are forgetting that we sold our jobs out. Our politicians sold us out uh, in the late 80s into the 90s. And then started selling the education thing if you want to make real money. And a lot of people that got hooked into the education thing got screwed. So there's a lot going on. Is Ben right? Is the other person that the, the other gentleman that commented on the first that one that's pinned to the top? Is he right? Is he right about what he's saying that Canada would be nowhere without China? Is that true? Could we have produced our own goods in Canada? I think we could have. I think 
there's a lot of people in Canada that want to be productive, but they're not given the chance to. They keep playing that, oh, nobody want, wants to work. Canadians don't want to work those jobs. I don't know where that came from because that ain't true. Because I know a lot of hardworking Canadians that want to produce and that want to be part of the system. And they want to live the Canadian dream. And as long as housing is unaffordable, you'll never have an economy, a proper economy. When first-time homebuyers can't get in the market, you'll never have a proper economy. Comment below. follow, Watch the video. Let me know what you guys think. Lots of love.